Ah. Oh. Um, in general, I I was given this level geometry complete. The art was in it when I got this level, so it had all been it had all been arted. Right. Uh, and when a level's arted, you can't make changes to it. You're not allowed. Right. I don't want to distract you. It's all right. I'll be very quiet. Ah. Do you like that little particle that happens when uh, when you fail? No, because that means I failed. But it's, um, I thought it was a nice touch because it lets you know where you fail. Right. Because um, otherwise, uh, thank you for doing that to illustrate. That's exactly what yeah. I did. Because uh, otherwise people, people were having a problem where they, uh, they would fail, but they wouldn't know which one had hit the, um, which one they had failed on because they would hit X to continue right away. Right. So having that lingering particle would help them remember. Problem is I'm panicking. Like, I start to get going, and then I, like, freak yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have that problem with the puzzle. Don't worry, I'll speed all this up. It'll be fine. Nobody will be bored. I did it again. I freaked out. So what button are you hitting to flip those connectors? X. X? Okay, because at the top it says circle flips the connectors. I guess I just made all the buttons work. Yeah. That's pretty clever. <laughs> I like that. I wonder why I just naturally gravitate towards X whenever it comes to activate anything. Well, it seems like the right thing to do, yeah. Back on Smog. Because somebody... Uh, put who, something confusing at the end of the level. Whoever was playing this level didn't pick up the no. thing. No. Whoa, whoa, to... what the heck? I can't. I'm stuck on the outer edge. Yeah. I didn't code it. <laughs> so we missed something here. But I don't know what exactly. There's a guy shooting at me. I didn't code him. So go into that corner where you can't see anything. Um, oh, go oh, up there. Jump. That is bullshit. Wow, okay. Right. Right. We totally missed this. Because there was a shortcut there that if you wanted to stop, you could totally stop. But there was actually more level. I have no words. Except I'm sorry. Yeah, I think when I cut it together, I can cut it together so that we didn't miss that. We can do I don't we could do whatever. Here, uh, try to high jump on top of Uh-uh. Hold on. On top try, of Yeah, try to get on top of these things, because I know on one of them there's a button, but it might not be on this particular I don't one, think but get on top of this one. On some of these uh, uh, uh oh. Ooh. Yeah. Um uh, it's probably not this one, but there, there are a bunch of floaty things like this. When right. you get to them, try to get up on top, because I think there's a platinum bolt. I'm just so shell-shocked now that I don't even have commentary left. That was a weird situation, and I don't know what that was all about. Well, that, that part of the area wasn't, uh, wasn't lit. It was one of the reasons it was really hard to see. Uh, and that's just unlike... It just doesn't seem like it should. Uh. It was weird. There was no sign saying, go here, make this happen. Yeah, it was a, a fl sort of flagrant violation of the, uh, the level design rules. Oh, Mini Rocket 2, you're so close. You're so Which close, Mini Rocket 2, quick. I almost out of ammo. I got one shot. I gotta make a count. I should break some ammo crates. If I had any. Someone had placed some you mean? I think this is the one. Ooh.
I like that you have to resort to the... I have uh, no choice. I need a long-range weapon. A long-range weapon that can hit guys that are elevated above gaps. Which the Seeker Gun excels at. You gotta admit, the Seeker Gun is a pretty damn good weapon. It's an alright weapon. I don't think it's that interesting. Try to, try to get up on top of this. Uh, uh, you might have had to... Might have used those crates. Yeah. You like punishing people for breaking crates, don't you, Mike? I guess so. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have broken those crates. I can't believe we're back in this fucking level. <laughs> it seems like here. we should have done something, and I know we never did this, but now I look back at it and say, when you're about to leave a level where you haven't completed all the objectives, wouldn't it be a good thing to tell the player, hey, you haven't completed all the objectives? Do you know where you're going? Nope. Go behind you. There's a little step there. Ah, got it. Right, wouldn't that be a good idea to yeah. at least let the player know, hey, you didn't do everything Yeah, that just you bring up the help desk lady, and I, I agree. I wonder why we never thought of that. Probably because it doesn't come up all that often. It's true. I mean, it, we are daisy-chaining a ton of segments here, which yeah. we don't usually do. There it is. What's up, hypnomatic part? Ratchet looked manic in that cutscene. A little bit. Alright, taxi. I'm at on the edge again. This, this taxi's weird. Not my fault, I didn't code it. <laughs> That was a nice trip back. No, it was not, sir. That was. Uh... All right, let's make let's do this right now. Let's head back. I hate. But let's get back to the positives, Mike. Yes. And you enjoy how? How did you enjoy that level? Uh, now awesome. that we're pretty much complete with it, how how, how did I you think enjoy this that? This is a good so. level. What did you think? I mean, you played half of it. So. Um, I liked the grind rail segment a lot. Grind rail segment was good. Uh, enemy segment was long, but not not bad long. You know, it's just, it was there was a lot going on there, and it was it was a bit difficult. The difficulty, I think, we can blame on the, the we need armor. Yeah, we'll get armor next, and then when I get back to Grelvin, we'll get armor. Cool. But yeah, I had a good time with it. I cool. thought it was pretty good. Yeah, and that, that that is a good grind rail segment. I'm actually pretty happy with it. The thing that I think, the big takeaway from this level that worked out really well, and a lot of this credit goes to you and to Max, is that it did a very good job of feeling completely swarmed with guys. Right, which was the Which is very goal. difficult to do. And, uh, uh... Ten... Oh, I'm not gonna get my armor! <laughs> you might get some bolts in this hypnomatic segment. So the hypnomatic stuff was Tim, right? Yes. Tim coded the hypnomatic stuff. You can shoot. Yeah, there you go. It's the uh, wrench I, button, though, instead of the fire button. Oh, for the hypnotic. I remember uh, uh, Tim having a really hard time with the uh, uh, with the hypnobots because he had to create a completely separate player to do all of the things that you know Ratchet does. Right. And he had he you know he had very little time to do it. So it was a it was a particularly tough. Uh, oh, I see. Press the button to get the taxi. Got it. Yeah. It's just. Ratchet rule, if you give them a gadget, you have to let them use the gadget, right. even if it's, you know, just, uh, uh, even if it's superfluous? I don't know, what's, I don't know. What that, one was just, that one was just a little odd, because the taxi was there when I didn't give them the hypnomatic part, but the taxi has to leave when you do give them the hypnomatic, and then come back after the hypnobot. It's not great. No, not, I mean, whatever, but in terms of actually having to set that up, that must have been a bit of a pain. Yeah. It, so it's one of those exceptions that, uh, you know, makes it sort of very difficult. Um, 
So before we go back to to Grelvin, uh, let's sign off, and then uh, I, I'd like to get that that hypnomatic secret we saw. Okay. In the middle. Uh, so uh, for okay, I'm gonna get this right. Developer commentary. I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia, and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye. I'm gonna make that sound way better. I'd probably be better if I worked backwards from the end. Might. Yes. Yes. The Mega Rocket Cannon. I think you can hold it down now and fire off rapid fire. Yes. Yeah. It's probably better if I go backwards. Yeah, I think it's closer to that end anyway. Hopefully we let you go backwards. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. Oh, this gave me a heart attack. When I looked over here, the light was <laughs> in the position. I was like, Whoa! Yeah, so we're, I guess we're looking at the secret. Yeah, let's just grab the secret real quick. Bonus material, maybe during the credits. Post credits. Yeah. For people that decide to stick around. Yeah. Get them a little something special. Come on. What do I got to do? How to do something. Maybe first person? Yeah, that's exactly it. Interesting. Well, you don't want to kill them all in case you need more. Or do you have no choice? Shoot the thing in the middle? It doesn't look right. Um, what is around the outside? Is there something you can blow? Oh, look behind you. Uh, blow up the billboards. No? I know there's something Jump. here. Jump. Oh. Yeah, they spawned again. Something there. I'm gonna go on game facts while you're here. Oh yeah, there's a self-destruct button. I think it has something to do with destroying that uh, megacorp. Yeah. Oh, oh, I jump. That's pretty dumb. Yeah. Oh, it's because I'm too close, and his arms clip into Go the thing. Go through the. Oh. Or no, maybe I just have to jump. Ah. What am I done? Whoa. Look. What? You blew open the. You you blew open the middle here. <laughs> hey man, what have whatever works. What happens if you blow up that uh, Mega Corp logo though? I don't know. Can you shoot a shot? Uh, maybe shoot it with Ratchet's weapons. When you come out of this, yeah, shoot it, shoot him with Ratchet's weapons and see if it still take damage. I think you just hit it until the door opens. I don't think... I think you open the door by exploding. I'm out of... Well, I got these. Okay. Mike, why do you always want me to hit things that you can't destroy? This is, this is exactly like the facility all over again.